You guys might have heard one of my stories about how I decided I really wanted to be serious about changing my life. I was done reading BS articles on the internet, I was done watching YouTube videos, and I was done being that dude that always talked about what he was going to do to change his life, and decided to actually be the dude that was going to change his life. Now in this video I want to share a very simple 30 to 60 minute personal growth routine that I started doing. Really, that was the precursor to any other thing and any other habit I did to change my life. So it's something you can do probably in as little as 30 minutes a day, but this is definitely one of my greatest secrets to kind of planning out a new vision for the future. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet that will help you plan that new vision out for your life. So if you're like me where I was and you're really unhappy with the way life was going, you want to chart a new path today and you're serious, click the first link in the description, download that and check it out. So the process that I go through and whether the process is 10 minutes or it's 30 minutes or longer, it always involves three main things. The first thing is that I'm always starting by looking at my written out goals, the goals that I carry on me all the time. I read through my goals feeling as if they've already come true. So the second thing is that I feel as if those goals have actually happened and I try to get myself in that state feeling the gratitude of that thing happening, whatever it may be. The third thing is that I spend 20 minutes reading or listening to self-growth material. So something that's putting me in the mindset at the beginning of the day that today I have to get better. I don't know how big it has to be, but something has to get better. Something has to change for the better. So let's jump in a little more. So in terms of going through my written goals that I have on me at all times, typically what I do when I get up is I come out of my bedroom, I come into my living room, and then I just sit down on my couch, I either pour a cup of tea or just a glass of water, and then I just go through and remind myself, like, what are those goals that are directing my life? Because I find that so many people, we wake up, and the reason why we don't reach any destination in our life is because we don't set any destination in our life. So just by virtue of having a few things written down already is a conscious direction I want to go in. I'm telling my conscious and my subconscious, you should work towards this and find a way to get there. So I typically only focus on three goals for an entire year until they're reached. And then as I'm going through them, my second step is that I take time to just sit down, close my eyes, and get into as deeply of an emotional state as possible. So what that means is that, you know, if, for example, I'm visualizing myself trying to attract the dream partner, or I'm trying to earn XYZ dollars so I can help my parents or travel, or I really want to write that book, or I really want to go after my passion and go study archaeology. So let's say you have in your goal sheet, you want to attract that dream person. The thing is, you don't visualize it, you feel it. So I'm in my mind, I'm in my body, and I feel that feeling of laying next to her, feeling the connection, feeling the love, the excitement, feeling all those emotions you want to feel when you meet that kind of person. So you're feeling into what it's like when it's done. And by the same token, it could be, I want to earn extra money to help my parents. So rather than visualizing that process, you're feeling, okay, I just wrote this check for $5,000 to help my mom and dad. I see them both laughing and crying. I see everyone hugging each other. I see all the resulting lack of stress in their life. I see and feel all of this. I feel it is what I should be saying. So you want to generate those emotions. Because in my understanding, it's generation of emotions that affects your consciousness the most. And certainly affects your state. And let's say what it is that you're visualizing is going after your passion. You want to be an archaeologist. You see yourself in a very cliche dig in Egypt and you feel the excitement that you never had at your day job. You feel the thrill of waking up for the first time in decades. 
excited for that future that you're about to build that you thought was going to take so long but now it's already here and it's already happening and you just feel that gratitude that enjoyment the sheer excitement of your life having gone well and every dream you've been thinking about has come true so this second part is the generation of emotions related to that state related to that goal as if the goal has already been achieved. And then the last thing, I just spend 20 minutes maximum reading or going into personal growth books or audio or video, whatever it is. Sometimes I play Think and Grow Rich on my audio here or with headphones. Sometimes I'm just reading a book. But whatever it is, I'm just taking time to get my mind thinking about growth. So when I read, for example, a story about how You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger came as an immigrant and worked super hard. Then I'm going through my day with that story lingering in my subconscious. And I'm more likely to make growth-based decisions because I've been thinking about that all morning. So that's how I'm starting and priming my day to help me get into the kind of state that I need to be in. And also remind my conscious and subconscious, this is the path I'm trying to chart. After all that's done, I have something written on the bottom that comes from Florence Scovel Shin, as well as some other authors, and it said, live today as if your prayers already have been answered. So then I get up off my couch and I walk around waiting for the miracle to find me because that's the only belief structure I've been able to come up with that puts myself in that state of faith, which is, I know it'll happen, I don't know when, but there's no stress, anxiety, or fear required. It's gonna be fine. So I hope that helps you guys. That's the process I go through in the morning. And I find that of all the things I do, the most important is generating that emotional state as if your goals have already been achieved. So if you want to start future pacing, kind of figure out the new direction you want to plot your life to go in, click the first link in the description, which is a download for a free journaling worksheet. You're also going to get an email every few days where I help you learn how to use journaling to reinvent your life and totally change the trajectory. So you can check it out, the first link in the description, and then check out my related video right there and right there coming up next.